Today's video is sponsored by Robopack, the trend-setting solution for Intune packaging and third-party patch management. And it's free for SMBs and NGOs. Visit them today at Robopack.com. In this video, I'm going to take a long, hard look at Microsoft 365 Copilot. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons. We're going to compare it with some other large language models. And ultimately, we're going to ask, is it really worth it? So stay tuned. This is a good one. Hey everyone, Andy here. How are you? So nice to see you. On today's episode, um, we're talking Microsoft 365 Copilot. Yes, that's right. You heard another name change. Uh, anyway, that aside, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Microsoft 365 Copilot and ultimately ask that question, is it actually worth the money? So with so many AIs now on the market, we've got Canva, we've got ChatGPT now promoting multiple different kind of versions of itself, as well as many others. You now have to ask, is Microsoft 365 Copilot absolutely unique? So what I thought I would do is take you through what I feel are some of the pros of Copilot, some of the really cool features and things that it can do, but also on the same hand, talk about some of the cons. I want this to be a completely unbiased view, so I'm not going to draw a conclusion at the end. I'm going to let you guys do that for yourself. Now, I would love your feedback about this. So if you've got comments, if you've experienced 365 Copilot, uh, let me know what your experience has been like uh, down uh, in the comments section below. It would be really interesting. And stay tuned because there are some really good tips and tricks uh, in this session. Now, if you haven't subscribed, as always, go ahead, click on that subscribe button up there and ring that bell and come and join my learning community. And if you want more, of course, then why not sign up to my Patreon site? Here you'll get access to full Microsoft courses, monthly Zoom calls, and a heck of a lot more. So I think it's about time we jump in and take a look at Microsoft 365 Copilot pros and cons and actually ask that question. Is it worth it? So kicking off here in Microsoft 365, this is the full integration. Now, the one thing I will say is you can probably see that this uh, is the Edge browser. And of course, the fact that I'm logged into Microsoft 365, I get that full kind of integrated experience here. Now, we also have the choice here. You can see there is a little safety shield which tells me that the enterprise compliance is on by default. So any kind of settings that you've set up in Microsoft Purview, um, things like data loss prevention policies, information protection will be honored here. So where do I want to search? You can obviously decide whether you want to uh, do purely just work content here. So again, you can stay informed about your up-to-date workplace here, or you can actually go ahead and search the web here. Now, from an admin perspective, you can uh, disable this. So there is an option to disable this within the uh, admin center if you wanted to do that. So as well as that Copilot prompt, we also have other prompts here as well. So you'll notice that we have a Copilot button here on the left hand side. And if I click into this, you'll notice that this is my AI assistant here. And you can see here it's giving me some suggested prompts. So a prompt, you can create your own prompts, of course, if you have the appropriate skills. There are quite a lot that come with Microsoft 365, but the difference between ChatGPT and Microsoft 365 is that 365 tends to focus on productivity. So for example, here is a prompt, uh, what's the latest from one of my colleagues, uh, Grady Archie? So again, we can click into that and we can see what the latest details uh, from this user is. Now, of course, in addition, like many uh, of these AI generated tools, we also have a visual creator as well. And the visual creator, of course, is using Microsoft text. So again, I can generate an idea using that. Now, just to say that the integration doesn't stop there. 
So you can see that I have a number of documents open here. So I can, for example, go into this Tailwind Traders document here, and you can see it, it is not really a lot here, but if this was a very large document, so you'll notice that we also have the Copilot button here as well. And if I click onto this, again now because I'm in Microsoft Word, it's obviously making some suggestions. So for example, I can say, you know, is there any action that I need to take on this particular file? And again, it will give me a summary of that. I might want to export this and create a PowerPoint presentation from it. Or I might want to reach out to one of my colleagues. So you can see that this is where Copilot is absolutely invaluable. Now, when it comes to other applications, the likes of, say, Microsoft Teams here is really where Copilot comes into its own. And so much so, in fact, you'll notice that we've actually got a dedicated Copilot button. And one of the things that obviously I find is a problem in Microsoft Teams is that often, you know, there's a very long conversation and it would be nice just to come in and say, hey, can you just give me a, a nice quick overview of this? This would be really, really useful. Also, what were the main points that was discussed? Again, think how useful that would be. So again, if I click into the Copilot button here, again, you get a number of specific prompts, which are ideal for the likes of Microsoft Teams. Now, you'll notice here that we also have some files. And very important here, if you don't have access to, to the appropriate content, or it's restricted or classified, um, then it will actually filter that sensitive data out as such. So again, in terms of security, it's very useful. So another feature is I can actually go into uh, a Word document here. So you can see that we have a number of documents here. So I can go into this document and you can see that this is a fairly extensive document. So it would be quite useful uh, if I could again go into Copilot and I can say, can you generate uh, a presentation from this, please? So, and off it goes and it will then say, yep, I can do that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to copy that content and if I click onto file and I can then say, hey, I want to export this, I can either download it as a PDF document, I can download it as an open, open uh, office document, but I, in this case, I actually want to export this and create a PowerPoint presentation. Now, in this new generation of Copilot, you can also bring in things like if you've got any specific templates, like corporate templates and so on, which is pretty cool. Now, in this case, you can see it's making some suggestions. So uh, again, I can choose to just come in with a simple uh, template here, or I can choose one of these pre-created ones here. And you can see there's quite a few nice ones here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'll actually say this uh, example here, and I'll say, yeah, let's go ahead, and off it goes, and it will export those uh, slides, and it will create that presentation for me. So now that the slide deck is complete, you can see I can scroll through the slide decks, and indeed, it's actually done a pretty good job and it's added graphics and it's formatted. You can just imagine how much time this would save. And again, I love this feature and it just shows you how Copilot uh, and all the Microsoft apps can integrate with each other. Okay, so Copilot for Microsoft 365, absolutely awesome. I love it. That's the pros, okay? Now, what about the cons? Well, ultimately, of course, it's gonna cost you. So currently $30 a month um, is the price, of course, if you wanna get the full, uh, the full copy of that. Um, again, there's also a free version as well. And of course, Microsoft have just recently announced Microsoft Copilot Pro. The benefit of this is it's $20 a month. So really quite similar to, for example, ChatGPT and so on. And you'll get pretty much the same kind of capabilities. I really like the fact that it also gives you the new AI voice, which is quite nice. Uh, a little bit annoying that there's only four voices to choose from, but I'm sure that will change in time. 
Uh, in addition, of course, fully integrates with Microsoft 365. So if you've got Microsoft 365, you can see here, um, uh, it's just saying, hey, do you want to go and sign in? I do want to sign in, but as I'm already signed in, it goes straight into Microsoft Copilot. So the next thing we want to, I want to talk about is security and compliance. And if I go into the Copilot button here, you'll notice that we have a little shield which mentions that it's, it's adhering to Microsoft's compliance standards. So as I mentioned earlier, if you've got information protection, data loss prevention policies, uh, your data is going to be safe. Now, as with all AI models, it's really important that you secure your data. And of course, Microsoft Purview is the tool for that. I did a video on this recently, so I'll put the link in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Now, in addition, the, the, well, the one thing that Microsoft are really going on about, and maybe all the vendors are going on about, of course, is the, is the danger of data leakage. So if you don't protect your data, and for example, you're allowing your users to log in and search the web, for example, there is a possibility, of course, that sensitive data could potentially be leaked. Now, again, Microsoft have been saying, hey, don't worry, your data's secure with us and everything's good. But it's actually interesting to look at the other vendors as well. So not just, uh, for example, Canva, who, again, says that we're going to protect your data, we're going to honor it. But also, if I come up here to, uh, for example, OpenAI, Open ChatGPT, and if you click on their safety tab here, you can see, again, privacy is like super important and also it's saying that it doesn't test with your live data so again that's a real plus plus because um, you might have thought okay we're going to test these um, kind of uh, uh, algorithms on your own data we don't do that so it's really important that you understand that it's not just microsoft that's protecting your data uh, or trying to protect your data, but also uh, many of the other vendors as well. Um, what I will say though, of course, is that it's kind of super important, again, to ensure that your data is secured. So before you start uh, opening up Copilot for Microsoft 365 or ChatGPT or any of these AI-based tools, you really want to secure your data. And again, I'll put the details down there below. Yeah. So Copilot for Microsoft 365, as I've said, looking at the numbers that Microsoft come out, it sounds like a great deal. It is transforming work, no two ways about it. However, the one of my cons is that it is expensive. Remember, this is for the enterprise suite. So on top of this, you would probably need to have a full E3 or E5, preferably the E5 for the security components for this. And also, in many cases now, you've also got to add on Teams on top of this. So those kind of monthly costs per user are going up substantially. Now, yes, you can get Copilot. Uh, we've also got Copilot Pro, uh, which is out. These tend to be for more end users, home users. Uh, certainly Copilot Pro has some fantastic tools and um, that's $20 per month uh, per user and it's absolutely awesome. But again, it, it, it does provide that commercial data protection, it is available in Word, Excel, PowerPoint and T, uh, in, in OneNote rather, but not in Teams and so on. Uh, also doesn't give you the Microsoft Graph grounding as well as the enterprise grade data protection. So data loss prevention policies and, and retention and so on. So it really is only the co-pilot for Microsoft 365 that gives you all of this. But to really get the full advantage of it, you do need to have those other licenses. The E5, you need EMNS, you would definitely need Teams and probably Teams Premium on top of, of that $30 per month as well. Um, uh, again, likewise, you can see there's also other versions for, for example, sales and service. So looking at the pros, very easy to use. It's super powerful. It's built on ChatGPT technologies, of course, fully integrates 
um, with Microsoft 365, great for collaboration. And this is the big thing here. Um, and this will definitely save you a whole ton of time. The privacy controls are built in, but likewise, they're not actually now built into ChatGPT as well. Um, but you do have that integration with Microsoft 365. The cons, as I said, is expensive. The compliance skills that are required are quite substantial. So you would need that compliance administrator to be able to set up those data loss prevention policies throughout the organization as well as information protection. So you need to classify your data first. It doesn't integrate with all Office apps. So I've noticed that looking at some of the apps, there, you know, it's Copilot is still missing. I kind of feel at the moment like it's work in progress. Limited functionality as well. For example, their graphics generation is based on the Microsoft Designer tool. So I love it, it's great. But just when you look at the richness of the OpenAI tools, it does feel a little bit limited. But again, it's a work in progress. Um, coming out though, there's some really cool features like the voice features uh, and so on. So there you have it. With all those other large language models out there now and ChatGPT doing so well, now you have to start asking um, Copilot for 365 is it actually worth the money? So in this video, I showed you the pros, the cons, and now it's time for you to make your own mind up. Hey, I'd love to know what you think. Get your thoughts down below. I really do appreciate it. Okay, questions and comments, as always, get them down there. And if you've not subscribed, you know what to do. Okay, that's it for today. I appreciate you joining me. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.